there. I'm so sorry I can't be with you tonight for the opening, but I did want to pop in and just say uh, how much I enjoyed being the juror for this year. And thank you so much for allowing me the privilege and honor to, to do this. Um, the work was really diverse and I had a lot of fun looking at it and uh, trying to decide what to put in. The show was very well submitted to. There were about 180 submissions and 31% got in. So I think if you you got in, you should feel pretty good about that. You're shown with a lot of really quality artists from uh, all around Alabama. Uh, I wanted to tell you a little bit about my jurying process. I, I try to think about um, three different concepts whenever I'm trying to decide what, you know, the merits of a, a of an work of art. I think about the composition and I think about the concept and I think about the technique and the craftsmanship. Uh, I think all of those things need to be um, taken into account whenever you're making work. So I thought it would make sense to think about all those things as I was drawing the work. When it comes to um, what work gets in the show, you know, that's a little bit different, but when you're trying to decide the uh, prizes, and of course we had a very limited number of prizes, uh, it was one per category and a best of show. And then um, I, we threw in some honorable mentions, which was fun to be able to shout out a few extra pieces. As far as criteria for, you know, what makes a work have that little bit of extra something that I think raises it to the level of um, prize winner, uh, it has to have a, a little something extra to kind of set it apart from the crowd. So that could be just, you know, extra good, beautiful technique. Uh, a concept that is just very thought-provoking. And of course, we hope all of the other elements are, are also working together, you know, since they got into the show. But now we're looking for that, you know, that little extra bump, the extra something that is going to raise it to the level of um, prize winner. Um, so it could be, I think if you're, if you're, if you're doing a very common subject matter, then you have to do something a little bit different with it. You know, you have to have, um, it has to be maybe bigger than we would expect or, but it also has to also be good. Um, it could be, you know, just completely flawless um, technique and have all of the other supporting things or um, it has you know, it's so complex that it keeps you coming back and back to view it. I mean, as artists, don't we ultimately want our viewers to linger longer over our work? So, you know, so our work um, gets appreciated and enjoyed as much as possible, you know. Um, but Complexity and perfect technique is, is not absolutely everything either. You know, sometimes it can be a very quiet piece that somehow just resonates or it has a little bit of a, an unusual uh, perspective on a subject that we've seen before. I think sometimes uh, work is just, you know, kind of demanding for that prize um, because of, of all of the things that I've just been talking about. And there were some pieces in the show that I thought qualified for that. You know, Ted Metz's sculpture is just beautifully designed. It's, you know, the sym symmetry of it, but then the concept, you know, that we're all complicit um, in using our, na our natural resources. Um, so I, you know, that what can be more timely and, and how, you know, that, how much that resonates with us. Um, 
I think uh, Karen Graffio's portrait, beautiful big portrait, um, it's just glowed. I mean, and that, you know, the eye contact is just riveting. And um, I mean, it's just hard to walk away from. You know, the quilt, um, let's see, Joyce Darby's quilt. I mean, it's, um, yeah, I wouldn't really have expected to, um, it, it's, it's hard to know what kind of piece when you're working on a, a mixed media um, category because, there, gosh, we had so many different um, mixed medias to choose from. But, you know, that piece in that category really stood out because it was so, um, you know, beautifully rendered, you know, with fabric rather than paint. But, you know, the values were were there to explain this just beautiful scene that she was capturing. You know, the, the light glowed. It was about this, this cool sunset in the middle of winter. And, and it was just beautiful. And I think it, it really held up, you know, walking across the gallery and then looking back, it just pops off the wall. And so I think sometimes, you know, I'll, I will um, relate to a piece because it has that kind of wow factor that, you know, stop you in your tracks kind of aspect to it. But, you know, but then not all of the pieces that were prize winners were, were big pieces or complicated, like the drawing category was, um, let's see, Jameson Harper, I Don't Know You. And, you know, and that's just a quiet um, little portrait study. Um, but, you know, I thought it was, it was striking because it had an, an unusual perspective for a portrait, which automatically um, takes us, you know, into sort of unknown uh, territory. So it's a little bit interesting for that as well. And then the, um, the yellow diagonal lines that are, are kind of outlining the size of the head and they are um, but diagonally oriented, that automatically makes a more dynamic composition. And so, you know, that's a very quiet piece, but uh, coming up to it and being able to study it in person and up close uh, makes you really appre appreciate the quiet aspect of it. Let's see what else. The painting awards, um, the, the crop top, by Joshua Hoggle. Um, I, I just, I thought this was interesting because it, you know, it's a subject matter, figurative and, and plants. But after I looked at it for a while, I started appreciating the abstract quality of it. You know, the plants are, they have this certain rhythm to them and the, um, is mimicked in the folds of the fabric and uh, you know, and in the sway of the fabric. And so I thought I appreciated that for that. And it's, it's good paint quality. And, you know, I look for those different things to paint quality or um, expressive mark making, whether it's in sculpture or, um, or painting or drawing. And then I have, um, for best of show, I picked the reporter. Uh, by Ashley Bond, and um, I will say that this painting surprised me from when I saw it on the computer screen till I saw it in person. Um, you know, the size was obviously surprising and interesting, um, but, you know, this very realistic figure, but there was a lot of um, expression to the face and there is a lot of tension in the the body language and you know it made me want to know more about this young man and his story and I think that's um what's so interesting about art you know is uh the best leaves us questioning and wanting to know a little bit more about the subject and I think that's a very magical quality about art you know that um it can make us want to know more. And I think those are the best, you know, the best pieces. Uh, 
I'll say that, you know, I've, I've told you some very concrete things that I um, use to when I'm journeying. But, you know, ultimately, um, there is this um, connection that, you know, piece, certain pieces are going to resonate with me. And, um, you know, try as I might to be completely objective, you, you know, you have that, um, that pull to certain pieces. And, you know, sometimes it's really hard to know what, what the connection is or why you're exactly drawn to that piece. And I don't think it even has so much to do with work that's like mine or work that's not like mine. Um, I, in a way, I think it has more to do with just that, you know, all of the, you know, if it's a technique that I really like, uh, that, that looks good to me. And then, of course, if the concept or the subject matter is something I can relate to. Um, so try as I might to be completely objective. You know, every juror has their own, brings their own perspective to it. Um, so uh, I hope you will uh, enjoy the pieces that I have chosen and uh, appreciate the where the prizes were awarded. Uh, it was really hard, I'll tell you. I could have, I could have given out a whole lot more awards. And um, I'm looking forward to seeing future shows and seeing all you guys in future shows. And uh, and I appreciate you um, putting yourself out there, and um, you know, a allowing me the privilege of during your show. Oh,